Nope. Bye bye Zaft and hello White. Uh, it, I'm here today with a, a workout for you on the newest product from Life Pro, the Aeroflex. Um, hopefully you saw the launch this week and um, Amber was on today showing some amazing therapeutic moves to to uh, with this product. But I thought what I would do is actually give you guys a workout to go by. Um, Again, there's so many things you can do because this is a four-in-one step device or step product, but there's there's so much more. But today, the workout's going to be broken up into three different segments. We're going to use the Aeroflex as the traditional step bench that it is, and then I'm going to go on to the 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 um, the half half balance with the the. Uh, the half balance, we'll have that on both ends, and then we'll also go on to with the dome. So we'll do three different things, and as we decrease the stability of this product, that's when it gets, that's when the work gets deeper, uh, a little bit more challenging, and in some ways therapeutic, in some ways athletic, depends what you're looking for. So um, I want to suggest, as always, that, you know, if you don't get a chance to do this workout with me today, it's going to be in the library. Life Pro's got this great library on YouTube of all my workouts, all of Amber's, all of Debbie's. So welcome, welcome. Let me know if you already got your Aeroflex. I know they had a great deal last weekend when they launched the product. I was I was out in Sedona busy getting married, so I wasn't able to be part of the launch, but I know that Amber did an awesome job launching it. And uh, as I said earlier today, there's a recording, there'll be a recording of her talking about all the therapeutic benefits. So um, I'm going to start my little timer um, because I, what I want to do is uh, get this going. Um, what I want to do is have you have a workout. So what we're going to do for the first five minutes or so, maybe less than that, is just warm things up. I already chatted for a few minutes, and I know you guys don't like that. You want to get right into the work. But what we want to do is just warm up your body. And the only prop you're going to need is um, get one of the, the flex bands, okay? Because I like, I like that for arm work. Because a lot of this is going to be leg work, we will do some arm work. Let's go ahead and warm things up. So you're just going to go ahead and step right in front of the bench, okay? Knees are soft. We're going to take a big breath in. And on the exhale, we're going to bend over, put our hands on the platform, and drop the head. And you're just going to bend and straighten your legs. Get those hamstrings to stretch out a little bit. Get the knees and the ankles. And then roll yourself up, breathe in, and we'll do that again. Exhale, bend the knees, come down, hands on the platform, bend and straighten the legs. And then soft knees bending, reach up one more time, big breath. Exhale, come on down. And then you're going to heel toe it out wide, and we're just going to go side to side. So the platform is about five and a half inches off the floor, so that way we, can, we don't have to touch our toes, so to speak. We've got a little bit of a surface here, an elevated surface, just to lengthen things out. So this is going to be a nice dynamic warm-up before we start. And then we're going to bend and straighten the legs. My back is flat, head is in neutral, fingers are spread wide. And just pump, pumping some fresh oxygen into those muscles. Heel toe it back, bend the knees, roll up nice and slow, and stretch those hands to the sky and release. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna just have this band on my wrist for now. We're gonna just do some step ups. We're gonna step up, step down, step up, step down. It's my right leg that leads. And you may want to get some cool music on. I don't put music on while I'm doing the lives because it interferes with what's going on with my talking, I want you to hear me. But put some great music on in the background. Now, you don't have to look down because once you know your foot is gonna step up there, you want those proprioceptors to kick in. I've got carpeting underneath my Aeroflex, so I have a mat so it doesn't slip, okay? You wanna make sure that you have some kind of rubber mat. Let's switch the lead leg. So it's left leg up and left leg down. Left leg up, and I'm just gently pumping my arms. Big breath in, big breath out. And we're just gonna go for about 30 seconds with each leg. Just getting that heel toe strike, heel toe strike. And a few more of these. And now we're going to bring the right knee up and stop. Right knee up and stop. Knee up and stop. 
Now you can see I'm just pumping my arms a little bit. Up, down, up, down. We're gonna do about 10 of these. Soft landing. Let's go for five more. And four, three, two. This is a good old Jane Fonda days, right? And then we'll switch legs. It's the left leg up. We call these repeaters. Soft landing, my firm planting of my foot on the step. If my pace is too fast, you can go a little slower. Exhale all your air. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna step tap. Step up, step down. My right leg leads, I'm gonna alternate. Left leg up, right leg up. It works your brain a little bit too. Left leg up and switch. Heart rate, I have to feel the heart rate coming up. I should have used my, I always forget to put my heart rate monitor on when I do this or my Apple Watch monitor on, but I know we're burning calories here. That's the whole name of the game here. Thanksgiving's around the corner. You use your arrow step. You know, even if you're using it 10, 15 minutes a day, in this in aerobic fashion, simple step ups, it's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna step all the way up. Now, we're gonna side step. Left step up, tap. And I'm gonna add my arms, I'm gonna add some arm swings. And I'm gonna do about 30 seconds on this side. Now, if I'm going again too fast, you can slow it down. Up, tap, step, down. Up, tap, step, down. And you can add big arms, we call them big arms. <laughs> okay, reach it away. Okay, we're gonna do the next 15 seconds on the other side, step it over, step, tap. It's a nice fluid movement, nice step, light step. Getting all the joints from the arms and the legs lubricated here. Now we have what's called um, over the top. You're gonna step over and tap, over and tap. It's a light step up and around. Now I don't look down on the ground. I wanna make sure I can feel the step. You don't have to have big jump here. One foot up and switch. And if you're not sure, you know it's nice to have a mirror in front of your step, just in front of you, so you can see your feet in the mirror. That way you're not looking down. Last time each way. Now, we're going to do what's called a repeater on this side. A little bit of a lunge up, down, up. It's a side squat. There we go. Let's go for six. These are bigger moves. I'm going deeper. One more time. And up and over we go. So we're coming down. Knee up. Knee up. So this whole little two, uh, routine between my just a few minutes of moving my body and then getting a step is about five minutes, okay? Three more, two, and one. So instead of just stopping, all I want you to do is step tap. Bring your heart rate down. And it is up there. <laughs> I can feel that pitter patter. Make sure you're hydrated before. Drink water in between. And just think about your alignment right now. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Nice and easy. We're going to take a big step up and exhale. Lunge it down. Come on back up. Switch. I'm going to soft knee, get a little stretch in the back, and then both and down. So just simple step ups. That's all you have to do with this. Now I'm going to make this quick change. Now that my heart rate has gotten up a little bit, all my, my muscles are warm, I'm going to take off the step. Pretty easy transition here. You want to make sure you're, you've got clearance, that you don't want things in the way when we, we start working with the other product. So I've got these little two, I'm going to call them half domes, if you will. And they 
quickly fit in place. I say that now that I say that they probably won't come in place real easy. There we go. You want to hear that little click in both sides. Okay. Now, again, super important you have some, uh, this, I have a rubber mat. I actually have it from my infinity, uh, home gym from Life Pro. But I think if you, once you get your product and you register it, they're going to send you a mat and you want this mat. Okay. Now, this is where we start getting some challenges with the balance. I'm going to step one foot out on the other, and I'm going wide here. I haven't forgotten about my band. We're going to definitely use it. Okay, so I'm going to go toe, toe tips down and up, working my ankles. Put your hands behind your head, okay? Now, you want to always tap down and up. Find that floor so you hit the bottom and back up. Now, if this feels comfortable standing with the softies, that's great. Otherwise, you can come down lower and we're going to sway back and front. Now, when I take my hands in opposite direction, it's a little bit of balance, but that weight shift does challenge me. It's more core work. Breathe in, breathe out, and in and out. There we go. Let's go for five more. Whoa. <laughs> Four, great on the ankles, the quads, and three, a lot of core here. Two, and one. Now, I got my ankles ready because we're going to go into a lunge. So I want you to take your band. You're going to put it on your knee. Okay, so I'm going to put this foot on the center of my Aeroflex. My other leg is in the back. I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to do a bicep curl, but my other hand is behind my head. So I'm going to curl as I come down. Now, my goal is to keep the ends or the sides of the Aeroflex not touching the ground. I want to wobble between the two. My elbow is locked into my side, so I got a little bicep action as I'm dropping down my back knee 90 degrees. Let's go for five and four, three, two. You're going to hold that lunge, switch hands. And we're just holding the lunge and we're going to pull out to the side and upright row. And I'm sustaining the stability on the platform leg and the bend of the back knee. So again, a lot of core work here. And we've got five pulls left. Four, three. Oh, I can feel the burn. Two and one. Now we're going to go for little bounces. So I'm going to go ahead and Take my arm out in front, and I have little pumps. Pump it down and up. Ten, nine. I'm like shaking someone's hand. Eight, seven, three. Wait, I'm not even close. Three, two, one, and release. Whoo, wicked stuff. So shake things out. We've got another leg. Okay, so taking that band on my thigh, finding the center of the step. Take a big step back. Make sure you're in a wide stance. You don't want to feel like you're out. Oops, I just untied my shoe, my shoe. You want to make sure that you feel like you're not on the surfboard. You want to be, the, the floor leg is out there, okay? Palm up. I'm going to bend my floor knee as I find my balance on my Aeroflex. So this is my special side. I don't want to call it my bad side. It's not a bad side, but it's, it's not the problem child. It just takes more attention. I've got some hip stuff going on and breathe with this. Keep the chest lifted. Keep your hand behind your head because that way you're keeping great skeletal alignment here. We've got five and four. Oh, these are big muscle groups. So I'm still huffing and puffing a little bit because I'm working in those big muscles. A lot of blood flow here. Two more and one. Hold it down. Now we're going to go to an upright row. We're going to hold the 90-90. My back heel is lifted. I've got even pressure. Front of my foot, spreading my toes wide. Elbow to the side. Working the deltoids. Let's go for five more. 
isometrically holding with some instability. Okay, last time, here we go. Arm out, I'm shaking your hand, okay? Little pulses down and up. Hand comes up, leg, knee goes down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, and one. Wowza. Oh, that's, I love lunges. Not a lot of people love them, but the beauty of lunges, quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, it's a, it's a, it's a win-win. Okay, so let's go side to side here for a moment, okay? Let's just do a little side to side hip shifts, okay? Now we're going to do this on the dome as well. Let's just get that little side to side action going here, okay? When my arms are out, I'm going to pull and pull. Okay, just working my ankles a little bit, a little bit of recovery from quads. Working a little bit more of inner and outer thighs here. And let's find the balance, shall we? Let's find our balance here. A little woo, wobble, wobble. That's the whole, that's the, that's the name of the game. Shaky, shaky. And we're going to just hold it for 10, 9, 8, <laughs> 7. It's like being on a vibration platform. 6, hold, hold, hold. 5. Four, three, two, and done. Awesome. Come on off carefully. Shake out your legs. So I'm going to come on down to the floor now. Let's get the legs, take a break for a moment. We're going to put our hands, we're going to kneel down. If you need a little extra padding on your knees, put a towel or something right there. Hands are wide. You know, we can always take the uh, little inserts out. You can hold on. I'm going to, for right now, keep them on there because I'm going to go into uh, a forearm, a, a forearm plank, okay? Right now, knees over hips, we're going to hover, okay? We're going to call this the bear pose. We just want to hover that and feel that motion right there. And if that is good for you, perfect. Otherwise, hands here, hope I have enough room, and I'm going to just stay in my plank. Now, in this plank, I want to do a mountain climber. One knee comes in, then the other. Exhale. Now, the dome is going to be a little more challenging, but this is a good starter for those of you that are not familiar with balance, uh, balance boards. Just a little bit of instability here. A little core work. Five. And breathe. Watch your head. A lot of people drop their head. Keep your neck pulled up toward the ceiling. Shoulders over the wrists. One more each way, guys. And down. And then just take a little stretch. Okay, from here, we're going to go into a little bit of something different, a side plank that's going to be a little different than you might be used to because of the instability here. Okay, I'm going to be on my side. My top leg is in front. My bottom leg is below. And I want to line up right in the center, my elbow under my forearm, and I'm going to press myself up. And now from here, I've got a lot of instability. And I'm just going to reach up and over, stretch it up. And we're going to hold this for about 30 seconds. So I'm really pushing down into my forearm on the floor. Okay, that's about, we're just at about 15 seconds. You can add on, you can add a little twist and extend up. And rotate under and extend up and exhale here and inhale working those obliques one more time and under so yeah so just about 30 seconds or so and what we'll do taking a break from our arms we're gonna put our feet back onto the top and you know one of my favorite booty moves is bridges. Is bridges, is that good English? Are bridges. Okay. Once again, my hands are going to be here. Let's check. Actually, let's play around with this a little bit. I'm going to put my hands in my band so my shoulders are anchored. If you are new to bridges and this doesn't feel right, put your hands on the floor and let your hands help you. But I want some more instability. So I'm going to find the center. Can you guys see this? I'm going to make sure I'm, not, I'm in the screen. Okay, I'm going to find the center here, okay? So we're going to come down, up, down, up. Now, again, the dome is going to be a little more 
instability, but I've got to make sure this fires up my hamstrings a lot more. I'm going to tip and lift, tip and lift. Let's go for five, four, three. Now on this next one, you're going to hold up. I'm going to walk my feet together and I'm going to keep just the left foot on. I'm going to straighten the right leg. I'm going to lower and lift. I'm not doing anything fancy with my hands. I'm just keeping those arms extended wide, lower and lift. Every time I lift to the sky, I reach up and breathe. Five, four, push into that platform leg, two, three, two. Now last one, let's burn it out. Let's po poke a hole in the ceiling. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. Whew. Shake out that leg. It's a lot of hamstring there. Okay, other side. So now let's go ahead and put the band a little bit lower into the arms here. So I'm going to go a little wider. I'm getting more of the real deltoids here. Okay, I'm going to come on up. Walk my right foot in the center, extend the leg. I'm going to open those arms up as I lower and lift the leg. You've got about 10 of these. <sighs> Trying to keep the board from touching either side. <sighs> you got five, four. Get wide with the arms, three. Get those rear deltoids and rhomboids, two. And hold it up. We're going to poke the ceiling for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. And release. Perfect. Carefully roll yourself up. And we're going to go right into a set of push-ups and tricep dips. And plus a little core in between. Then I'm going to go into the dome. So hopefully you're still with me. Okay, so now... For my push-ups, I am going to take out the inserts. My hands are going to be wide. Elbows are out to the side. I'm going to start on my toes. And I'm going to come down and up. Now, if this is too much for you guys, you are so welcome to come onto your knees and come down and up. Elbows go wide. Remember, you're, you're looking about four feet in front of you. Breathe in. Squeeze those glutes. Let's go for four more. And three. Press through it. I like these handles a lot. It really helps me use the pushing muscles, the serratus. So before I go into tricep dips, I'm going to add a little core here. I think this is kind of fun. You can always try, make sure everything's out of the way. You can always try balancing on here on your tush. Okay, not so easy, okay? So the fingertips are behind me. I'm bringing my legs up. And then just by simply being here and having that little instability is firing up these deep transverse abdominus muscles. The secret is always keeping your feet higher than your knees. If your knees are down, you're, go you're going forward. But keep your feet higher, okay? And then you can try one. Nope. <laughs> We're going to try one arm at a time. Whoop. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Just challenge yourself. I'm trying to find that place where you, whoops. <laughs> No, nope. we're going to keep our hands here. <laughs> okay, so just little crunches out. 10, 9, 8. <sighs> thigh bones. I'm moving my thighs. I'm not dropping my feet. 4, 3, chest is lifted. 2, 1. Perfect for me to open up the chest. So now I'm going to put my inserts back in really quick. My hands are here. I'm going to roll my shoulders back, and now I'm going to bend and straighten. So I'm touching the tush down and lifting the collarbones and up. You can add a little hip lift to it, a bridge. So I'm going to walk my feet out a little bit further. Okay, up, down, and thrust. It's a hip thrust and a tricep dip. So you can just do just the dips, or you can add the thrust. I'm going to need four more of these. Give it a thrust, three, push into your feet, two, and one, come on down. Use this platform as a little bit of a back brace. Let me get a little closer in. And now we're gonna do some crunches. So I'm gonna rotate left and right, a little bit of oblique work. 
because I've got another side of planks. Okay, I only did planks on one side, those side planks, and I don't want to be lopsided. So I'm going to do another set before I go into the final wobble on the dome. And so what's happening here, when I put my back against the platform, it supports me, and I can really go deep into the dumbbells. Last three, and two, one more each leg, and done. Awesome, come on up. Whoa, how's the time? Yep, I'm making some good time here. Okay, I have side planks on the other side, so let me move this along. And I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Hope you guys are doing okay. Let me see if I've got any comments here. Yeah, definitely save this. You didn't get your board yet? I'm gonna tell you what, guys. This is such a cool board compared to, you know, I've done the Reebok steps and all those other steps. I mean, I don't want to diss anybody, but the size of this and the versatility of this and the, the surface of this is awesome. Okay, so side plank. Here we go again. Okay, my top leg is in front. My bottom leg is behind, and I want to be centered, okay? Think ear, shoulder, hip, center. That's going to be your best bet. And my elbow is slightly in front of my shoulder, okay, slightly, okay? Use your hand to help you push up. Oop, i got to get out here a little bit. Push yourself up. Now, one side is always stronger than the other, so feel like there's a hook from your waistband picking you up, reaching to the sky. You can hang out here with me like that, right? I'm going to hang out here for about 15 seconds. And yeah, this is my um, my different side. My whole right side is just different than the left. So I want to keep pushing up into this rib cage, this area here. And I'm pressing down on my sides of my feet to really make all these oblique muscles kick in. Now we add a rotation. We're going to tuck and reach. Exhale, tuck and reach. And exhale, tuck and lift two more. And tuck and lift and one more. Tuck and lift and release. Oh, good stuff. Okay, last but not least, for this, you definitely want to make sure you have your head on curving because this is pretty slick stuff. See how easy those came out? I'm gonna set them aside. The cool part is you put this all together, the step, the legs, the half dome, and then the dome, and it stores as one unit, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Okay, pop it in place, and here we have it. So while I'm down, while I'm down here, let's do some around the worlds with the arms. Core work now. You can be on your knees. You can be hovering off your knees. Let me see if you can see me okay here. Okay, now the screen there. I don't have my up, um, my up light on, so yeah, I think you guys can still see me. Okay, so I'm just hovering, right? So you can come forward, side, back, and around, just like making a circle here. Okay, around the world, you can reverse it. My whole body, and my shoulders are going with me on this. See how my head's going with me? Okay, I'm just making the whole core work. And rotate the other direction. And I can also do this in a plank, so I'm going to come forward and back. I'm rolling onto my toes and my heels, toes and heels, toes and heels. For five, four, nice work in the wrist, three, two, and the ankles. Now, what I really like is it's kind of a, a saw and a pike. Okay, so I'm going to actually... Open my blinds because I feel like it's getting dark in here. There we go. Let there be light better. Okay, so forearms on, on the platform. Shoulders over the elbows. Here's my plank position. So I'm going to pike and then I'm going to saw over. I'm going to pike up and saw over. Now I'm not changing the board at all. I'm staying on the center of the dome. And over. Tailbone to the sky, head between the arms. Let's go five. This is hard stuff, not for beginners. Four. Push into the forearms. Three. Hips high. Two. And last one. Whew. 
Yeah, I saved the best for last. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come on up. And we're going to play a little bit of what we call around the world. Now, what's really funny is because I'm on carpeting, I am going to move a little bit here. Let me see if I can get some more light on. Oh, there's my light. Hang on, guys. Sorry. There, there's more light. Perfect. You know, it's getting dark really fast now. It's five o'clock here in the sun setting. Okay. Now, so now I'm on the dome, right? So I'm just going to get my bearings straight here. I like to put my hands on my hips so I feel one hip and then the other. This becomes quite an aerobic exercise because we're using all our muscles and we need to pump, you know, a lot of oxygen in those muscles and, uh, um, that's why I love this kind of training, right? It's, it's fun. I, I'd like to mix it up. Now I'm going to go to front and back, front and back. A little different here because we have that round surface. Kind of get used to, I'm looking down and that's really no, no for me. Okay. Back. I want to feel the language of your core is feeling, feel the he hips back. You can almost feel how you might be favoring one side. I think my camera's a little crooked too, so that doesn't help. <laughs> Everything's a little wobbly. <laughs> okay, here's around the world. So think about if the front is 12 o'clock, the side is three, the back is six, side is nine. So I'm gonna hit those points and I'm gonna find my 12, three, six, and nine. And it's kind of magical, whoops. Six, nine, 12, three, six, nine. I literally start going around. <laughs> The mat. Instead of around the world, we're calling it around the mat. Okay? And let's do the opposite. Okay? So now I'm going to go 12, 9, 3, and 6. It's all coming from the lower half. Put your hands behind the head. See how that works. Whoa! Changes things a little bit more. You don't realize how this bowling ball, your head, does change your balance until you do things like this where you keep your head back. That's always been my secret with a lot of my clients is keep your head, hands behind your head, and you really create a much, a, a more optimal alignment. This size, see, yeah, I'm kind of getting used to it now, so it's not so difficult. It's just that first few times, all those proprioceptors in my feet are going, what the heck, Rose, what are you doing? Excellent. And back, perfect. Okay, so let's see if I can shift around. Nope, I'm not going to do anything fancy dance. Last but not least, I think this isn't the most challenging thing for anybody on a wobble board, the Aeroflex Dome, is to find your center. Okay, find your center. <sighs> Maybe. And then we're going to go squatting into it. So come on down. You could put your hands in prayer. You could put your hands out in front. Hands behind the head is the hardest for me, I believe. And we're just going to hang out here and find our center. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Again, it's finding. I think I'm going to put my hands back here. I need all the help I can get. Come on. There we go. You find it for a split second. Remember, this is a round surface. To find that pinpoint center is going to be challenging. So if you catch it for a second, yay you. And release. Oh, okay guys, shake out your legs. So we had about 30 minute workout. You don't have to do all of this. You, I'm gonna shake my legs out. You can do a little bit at a time, just do the step. Just do the side domes, the side rails if you will, or practice this. But anything that you do, make sure that you're warmed up, stretch it out. I'm not gonna do any stretching today. I'm just gonna uh, sign off and stretch out. But I wanna keep, give you guys Something to do, exercise with me. If you want anything else, if you're looking for any other exercise, you want to focus on something specific, let me know. I'm happy to be here to help you guys out. I love Life Pro. I love the family, love the community, and I love my new arrow step. Thank you so much for joining in. I got to grab some water. Have a great day. Bye for now.